He wants to go and get his son, then I think that he should. Or if I'm not comfortable with it, they can get an Airbnb or, you know, something like that. But I don't want to block that. I want him to be the best father he can be. They should get an Airbnb. And do that. <laughs> you talking about Airbnb here or like where he been? Poor Ashley can't even process it. Hello. Welcome to Reactions and Reviews. I'm your humble host, Eze. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the show. A lot of you ladies think I don't like black women, which you ladies are wrong. Far from that. If anything, is the opposite. I love black women. I'm a pro-black man. I don't want nothing else but a black woman. This channel, I only point out what you ladies do. I only show you the mirror and let you look at yourself. You ladies don't like what you are seeing. Like this video. Let me tell y'all a story that's a perfect example as to why when you have standards or rules when you're dating, like you don't date people with kids or you don't date, whatever it is, whatever your rule is, you never break your rule because they will always show you why you got that rule in place, right? So I went on a date with this guy. While we were texting, you know, we exchanged numbers, I met him out, and he tells me that he's a year younger than me. Now, I have a very specific rule that I've kind of learned over the years not to date any, I don't care if it's a year, a month, a day, not to date anyone younger than me. So we go on a date, it was a good day, like it was fine or whatever. But um, there happened, to, something happened to where we didn't see each other for a while. Um, and he didn't call me for like a few days. So I blocked his number because I'm thinking, okay, you're not interested after the first date. That's fine. I ended up unblocking his number because what, whatever, you know. And like two days later, he texts me or he calls me. And he's like, hey, like, I just want to explain why I hadn't heard from him before I had blocked him. You know what childish ass reason this guy gave me? He was like, the last time that me and him texted, I had te we were texting and I didn't text him back. Like he texted the chat last and I never responded. So he didn't respond for a few days because he didn't want to double text me. Are we in high school? You didn't want to double text me? You know what that's telling me? It's telling me that not only are you immature, which I already knew because you're a year younger than me and I shouldn't have went on the date anyway, but it tells me that you feel like you don't got to chase me. I got guys double, triple, quadruple texting me, but you feel like you don't got to text me after I gave you the chance of going on a date with me? Okay, we don't got to see each other no more, but it tells me that you feel like you don't got to chase me. I got guys double, triple, quadruple texting me, but you feel like you don't got to text me after I gave you the chance of going on a date with me? If you made it this far, hit that like button and leave a comment to trigger YouTube's algorithm. I'm a new channel and I'm trying to grow. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time I upload a new video. But it tells me that you feel like you don't got to chase me. I got guys double, triple, quadruple texting me. But you feel like you don't got to text me after I gave you the chance of going on a date with me. But it tells me that you feel like you don't got to chase me. But it tells me that you feel like you don't got to chase me. I got guys double, triple, quadruple texting me. I got guys double, triple, quadruple texting me. But you feel like you don't got to text me after I gave you the chance of going on a date with me. Or I gave you the chance of going on a date with me. Or I gave you the chance of going on a date with me. Videos like this make you sisters look bad. Gentlemen, what did y'all notice? She wanted the brother to chase her. Notice she said, I have quadruple texts from other men. That means she is used to simps chasing her. And the moment she met a dude that was like, yo man, I'm not gonna chase this girl. She did not like that. That's the problem, ladies. Why y'all are saying I hate black women? How about you ladies compete? How about you ladies compete for black men like Asian women are competing? Like non-black Muslim women are competing. Like white women are competing. Like Hispanic women are competing. All these people I said are competing for black men's attention. Why you ladies kick back and just think black men are just gonna come. My dear sisters, it is 2023. Dating is global now. It's global. And black men are in demand. 
this is the first time we have lived together and then he's come for the summer. But unless I'm saying something wrong, like I feel like that it was a good experience for you. Yeah. He was a good kid. You know, he was easy to get along with, but <laughs> it was different. It was somebody always there. When I'm used to it, just being me and him. If you weren't dating her, would he live with you now? He probably would be with me more. And if he wants to go and get a son, then I think that he should. Or if I'm not comfortable with it, they can get an Airbnb or, you know, something like that. But I don't want to block that. They should get an Airbnb. You see, do you see what I'm saying? Just like the other young lady, this sister right here feels the world revolves around her. She's telling a grown ass man that's trying to provide for his child, for his son, to go get an Airbnb. If he wants to be with his son, go get an Airbnb and you two can be together. I want you sisters to hear the things that come out of y'all's mouth. Not all of y'all, let me make sure I'm, I'm saying it correctly, not all of y'all, but majority of y'all. This is the things that y'all say and do, then y'all say I bash black women. Why am I bashing here? These are the things that's coming out of our own mouth. You talking about Airbnb here? Or like where he been? Or actually can't even process it. Like, hold on. I thought you were talking about like if he was there and didn't want to drive all the way yeah. back home. You talking about an Airbnb here? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's his son. He's not going anywhere. You got to dig your heels in. It's not going to be easy. Like you have to let go of those things that are stopping you from being a family. And gentlemen, even though I'm telling women what they're doing wrong, a lot of this, I hold you brothers accountable. A lot of y'all are weak men. A lot of y'all are weak as better males. A lot of y'all are simps. How can a grown ass man sit there, allow a woman to sit there and say some dumb ass shit like that? A woman can only do what a man allows her to do. I had to let Shay know about choosing between her and my son because I wanted her to hear it and truly understand that before you just start making proclamations on what you want, that it's not gonna end well for us. You've known him half of his son's life? Yeah. So this is not the time to play games or lie, ladies and gentlemen. Your son is in need of what a 12-year-old little black boy needs. And having a relationship with only a part of yourself it's not sustainable. You guys can go do your own thing. You're his dad. I can join when I feel like it, not when I don't. Shut the fuck up. So how do you do that after you want him to accept all of you? You're just getting married to me. Who are you getting married to? The fact she had the monkey balls to say this means she knows she knows her man ain't gonna do nothing. She knows where she stands with her man. That's why she was comfortable enough to say this dumbass shit. I think that it is a little bit deeper than I thought, but I guess him and his up. There ain't no guessing, honey. <laughs> I thought that we could separate the two. How? How you want to separate the two? It's, it's, it's mind blowing to me. It's not even up for debate. This is my son. Are you serious? You know, it, it, just like the host said, this is mind blowing. But gentlemen, this is really fucking my head up, honestly. See, a lot of sisters always shame, no, not even sisters, America shames men that don't want to date women with children. But here we are. On a national television, this sister is making it obvious. She's, I mean, she's not biting her tongue. She is being clear. She does not want to be a stepmother. But nobody, I don't see nobody talking about this clip. Nobody. But the other clip from the same show, the other clip where the brother said he did not want to date a single mother, that went viral. Black women tried to cancel that brother. Because he said he did not want to date a single mother. I love Mike. And, you know, like you said, that's what comes with him. I just have to stick with it more. Because I have to be happy, too. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe we still got something to talk about. Yep. I love Mike, but we still need to figure out how we're going to navigate his son living with us. In conclusion, ladies, I'm a pro black man. This channel is for black families. The videos that I upload, I'm showing you sisters what you ladies are doing wrong. And the videos that I'm showing you, that's what brothers are seeing. Not just my video, all over social media. That's what brothers are seeing. And that is why brothers are checking out. That's why brothers are going overseas. That's why brothers are going to non-black women because the same way I'm saying it, I'm making videos, brothers are seeing it. They are just not making videos. They are just making the decisions. You know what? I am not going to deal with a black woman. Now, what do you guys think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Either way, leave your comments below so we can start this conversation. Until the next video, stay safe in the streets. Later. Now we wrap it up for today's episode. And thank you for joining me. So please, leave a comment uh, below. If you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Leave the comment below. And also, you tell me what you want me to cover. You tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to. Okay? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you on the next episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's rebuild the black nuclear family. It is needed. Okay? God bless.